the Dodo Wyvern, a creature that spawns once a year during the annual Fear Evolved event. First implemented back in 2016, it was the second mythical Halloween creature to feature in Ark following on from the mighty Dodo Rex. Just like the Dodo Rex can only spawn on the island map, this odd looking devil bird can only spawn on Scorched Earth. The Fear of Old event sits among the top of most players' favourite events of the year. The Halloween update is the most anticipated through the ARC community and a chance for all to grab some fun emotes and skins or seek out the creatures themselves. In spite of its popularity, Wildcard never introduced a new event boss after its second year. A shame as I'm sure you'll all agree that an infected, rotten, pus-filled Dodo Reaper Queen spawning on the surface of Aberration would have been a fun addition. <laughs> but the island and Scorched Earth still remain the only places you can fight these special Halloween event bosses. These are the complete guides to Ark's creatures and everything you need to know about them and their uses. And we continue with the Dodo Wyvern. Over the years, many have tried to use new and inventive ideas to defeat the Dodo Wyvern, from large traps with dinos like Gigas, or more recently, other new added creatures like the powerful Shadow Mane. The introduction of the Genesis DLC bought with it hover skiffs and tech phasing pistols, giving players new options to test out. And this year was no exception. I couldn't help but laugh at the patch notes that came out within the first few hours of the event going live with the community members exploiting the Noglin and Wildcard forgetting to make adjustments to prevent the creature from mind controlling both of the event creatures for a short time. The corrupted master controller in Genesis Part 1 must be defeated on Gamma difficulty to unlock the tech skiff and the phasing pistol requires a level 118 ascended character to unlock and you'll need plenty of element to power them both if you have the means. But today I'm going to concentrate on what's available to a player on Scorched Earth and that doesn't have ascensions or tech gear, using a classic kill box with a twist. The Dodo Wyvern counts as a flying creature and is highly vulnerable to auto turrets, so five or six turrets will make short work of the beast. The Dodo Wyvern and Rex base stats are both 666,000. This means a max level creature could have over 3 million health on official settings. To avoid the turrets taking any damage from the beast, I recommend spreading out a few rock golems. <coughs> the Dodo Wyvern's three breath attacks are ineffective against the rock golems, so some high level ones can withstand a whole evening of attacks from a Dodo Wyvern, taking some damage, but to that end, a whole army of them would never be enough to kill this creature alone, or in time. Both of these creatures despawn at sunrise, so the window of time is a short one and you'll need to kill them as quickly as possible. The Dodo Wyvern spawns once every three days on the Scorched Earth map at midnight. Holding down the H key on PC will tell you the time of day on any map and help prepare for the hunt. When it spawns, you'll get a notification to say the creature has arrived and you'll also see its silhouette on the moon. It can spawn in roughly 30 different random locations. However, there are several locations in the trench that it can spawn in, so I generally check there first and spread out my search from there. Sometimes it can spawn in a trench wall, but for the best chance of it spawning close to your kill box, I recommend placing it down near the trench. Its minions are probably more easier to look for than the beast itself, but if you're close, you will hear the Halloween event music. We used our own wyverns to drag the dodo to the kill box in both times that we did it and the minions didn't follow it. It took roughly 6,000 advanced rifle bullets each time we did the fight, with creatures spawning in around the level 25 to 50 marks the times we encountered it this year. So preparation is the key leading up to this fight. So if one spawns too high, you may want to wait an extra three days for another one of a lower level to spawn in. Just like the Dodo Rex's minions become claimable after defeating it, so too do the Zombie Wyverns, each one having a different level and type, and all slightly smaller than the normal Wyverns. You can't breed them, so ultimately they're a bragging mount, but certainly one of the coolest. You'll have to search around the map to claim them all, and many will come to the ground after you defeat the Dodo Wyvern. Perhaps the hardest thing about defeating the Dodo Wyvern is perhaps waiting long enough for it to spawn and the cost of ammunition is high, but it's possible to start crafting them advanced bullets early 
and for the time being it's still my definitive method for killing the dodo wyvern and claiming your own zombie dragon bragging mount. The cost of tech turrets will be higher but ultimately more effective in taking it down faster. But do let me know in the comments if you tried to take on the dodo wyvern this year yourselves and whether you found some new methods I should try for next year. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.